Even during the pandemic, a local carnival is still a go. Plus, an area library has initi initiated a new way to keep readers safe from COVID-19. All that and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. The Voyager statue in Cloquet is wearing a cape and a mask, and city officials are calling him a census hero. According to the city of Cloquet, around 80% of its population has completed the 2020 census, and with door knocking starting next week, the city used the Voyager as a friendly reminder. City officials say for every one person who does not complete the census, the city loses $1,500 per, dollars per year adding up to $15,000 of lost government financial aid over the course of 10 years between each census. Meanwhile, the Sherman and Ruth Weiss Community Library announced it will be open for an extra day by appointment only. The library will be open on Tuesdays from 12.30 p.m. through 6 p.m. and Wednesdays from 10.30 a.m. through 4 p.m. for pre-scheduled 30-minute appointments. The first two time slots on each day will be saved for people of high risk and seniors. Library officials say to set up an appointment, you can call them on Monday, Thursday, and Friday. The 65th annual Hoyt Lakes Water Carnival is still on, but it will look much different this year due to the coronavirus pandemic. Officials say the carnival will be the smallest it has ever been, starting Thursday with the crowning of Miss Hoyt Lakes, which will be live-streamed, plus a drive-in movie on Friday and a socially distanced parade on Saturday. The planning committee says they will be back next year, bigger and better. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. The pandemic means many people have had extra time on their hands. Coming up, learn how some young people have used this time to learn a new skill.